Hello, this is David Benayim. In this video, I'm going to show you PowerPoint's Presentation Coach. This is an AI-enabled feature to give you feedback as you're going along on your presentations. Things like whether you're speaking too fast or using sensitive phrases, using filler words or reading the slides. Let's have a look at that in practice. So here I am on PowerPoint Online. If you're unfamiliar with what that is, you can basically just look up PowerPoint online and then look it up here and it loads it up. Now you can access this as long as you have a work email account or a OneDrive account or a personal one. If you use Outlook.com or Hotmail email address, you get this automatically. You don't need to pay for this feature. So you get into it and then if you have a presentation you want to rehearse with, you can just upload it by dragging it in like this. And then it uploads it. Uploads it to OneDrive and you can launch it in PowerPoint online like this. I'm gonna go with the one that I've prepared for this, which is this one. And I'm going to go to the slideshow tab and then click rehearse with coach. You get this, you can click start rehearsing. And now it's listening to everything that I say. So welcome to PowerPoint's AI presentation rehearsal coach session today. We're gonna to go into the next slide. That's using the more feature that I love. And here I'm going to do a VLOOKUP recap. Merging two tables, setting apart advanced users. If error, change error for zero value. Always end with a zero. Ah, do you see that? It says try to avoid reading the slides, which is really cool. And I can also um, just notice that, ah, you see it doesn't like fillers. Ah, <laughs> basically it's always looking for ways. It doesn't like basically, it doesn't like the word like either if you use it in that context. It kind of knows whether you're doing that. And then we get to this that's quite fun to play around with. <laughs> So I had a lot of fun when I realized it would do this because fucking hell, if you just swear at the screen, it tells you off. Isn't that cool shit? Of course, some presentations allow you to say bitch and wankers, but it's telling you that businesses don't necessarily like it. Sometimes if you say them too fast, it doesn't pick it up or if you don't speak clearly enough. But wankers is really something that it doesn't like some of the time. Didn't pick that one up. Uh, in terms of the reading the slides, sometimes, there you go, it doesn't let you do it. So VLOOKUP recap, merging two tables, set apart advanced users. If error, change error for zero. Always end with zero. F4 important, cannot look back. As you can see, I read the word sli the slide word for word. As you can see, I read the slide word for word, but it didn't pick up on the fact I was reading the slides, even though these are actually the same words as they were in this slide, which is interesting. <laughs> as I go to the next one, Merging two tables together can be bad practice. VLOOKUP can set apart advanced users. Right, so if you have more words in this big, big kind of text box or placeholder, then it does know that you're reading the words. Otherwise, for shapes, it looks for shorter ways that you can read the words. It also tells you to use inclusive language. There's some stuff it doesn't like, which you might guess. So, this is going out to all the gays around the world. It doesn't like me using the word gays. Or this presentation is about gay things. It doesn't like that either. It also doesn't like using the N word. I'm not going to say that on this video, <laughs> but it does tell you off for that. It also doesn't like you if you say the word retards. This is a retarded way of thinking about things. Sometimes it doesn't pick it up like that. But I know in previous times it's told me that. And then there's some kind of obscure things. <laughs> so 
it doesn't like me using terms that say this is a feature we're going to master. We're going to master the feature today. We're going to... Some things it doesn't pick up, but one thing that it's told me off for in the past is using terms like we're going to use all the manpower we have to get this across. Yeah, there we go. That's a kind of non-inclusive language like the word implies. It also avoids us saying terms like you guys. What is this for you guys about? It doesn't like that. And it also tries to stop me saying things like, let's master this technique. I'm not sure why that's offensive. Um, I'll show you some of the breakdowns later on. But yeah, I'm not sure why that one's offensive. And finally, another one that I've realized it doesn't like me using is talking about how this is a retarded way of looking at things. This is a really retarded thing to do. There you go. It stopped telling me that I can't use that. Interesting. Now, what's important with this is that some things don't work in PowerPoint Online. So I like using the Zoom feature on the Insert tab. I sometimes will use GIFs. And I also like these type in presentation boxes in slideshow mode. I use these all the time. They do not work with this feature. I'll show you how that works in the regular PowerPoint in a bit, but let's keep going. The more feature does work like that. Interestingly, <laughs> this GIF I got to work, even though these two are also GIFs and they don't work. I'll show you the equivalent slide after we get to it. And it also tells you off if you talk too fast. So if you've got a lot that you want to get across and you really, really want to deliver that as fast as possible, it also tells you off. Try speaking a bit slower. It's also in the past told me that I speak too slow. But yeah, let's go to the last slide. And I'll recap what I like and what I don't like. So I really love the summary it gives at the end that I'll show you in a second. The way that it encourages you to practice and rehearse your slides is really, really good because all presentation experts encourage this behavior. I like this timing and the number of slides that it's looked at. You can also pause and start again like that if you want to. The speed of speech, talking too fast or too slow, inclusive language I like. And it's great that it tells you if you're reading the slides as well. What I don't like and what definitely I think could be improved is one thing that I've noticed is that it doesn't save the report of what you type out. I haven't shown you the report, but I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, the filler words are nice, but I like to see them as a percentage because I think it's more encouraging to know that I use them as a percentage than that I use them. I think every presenter will kind of use filler words, so it's really only a small change. I wish it would recognize tonality changes like this to make something really prominent or going from loud to emphasize a really good point or quiet as well and pausing. These are good techniques when you're presenting. And yeah, as I already mentioned, I wish the PowerPoint Online supported these features, Zoom, GIFs, and type in presentation mode. So to finish it up, if you press escape, it will give you this report. This is one of the longer reports that I have. Now, as I said before, it doesn't log this. So what you need to do is you need to screenshot it and then save it, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. It tells you, this is cool, it tells you which slides you read, um, what your pacing like was and how that changed towards here. So as you can see, my speaking rate increased a lot there. It encourages you to use between 100 and 160 words per second. That's kind of what this shaded area is. And it has your average, which is really, really nice. Your fillers that you use as well. 
And I screenshotted it, so then let me paste it in here. And by the way, this is the same file that I've got open online. So let me just show you the things that I like and the things that I don't like. So if I go to slideshow mode here, some of the features that are not supported are a way to sort of type in presentation mode here and zoom feature. So this is a zoom that I can get to like that. Um, and GIFs, yeah. You can see these three are GIFs, but only this one in the middle was playing, which is kind of strange. And yeah, that's why I wanted to show you there. But let's look at some other things. So over here on the side, we have uh, the suggestions from the presentation coach. So this is a full article that explains what it does. This is, you can get to it by Googling presentation coach. And here is, this is interesting. This is the bias that it tries to get you to avoid. So disability, age, gender, sexual orientation, uh, race, mental health, and ethnic slurs. Now, um, I wasn't able to figure out what some of these were, so I'm not sure where it stops for disability uh, or age. Maybe the word mastering, maybe that's supposed to be an age thing. I'm not sure. Gender, we got, we got manpower and we got you guys. Uh, sexual orientation, when I said gays or you or gay, it didn't like that. Uh, race, uh, it doesn't like the N-word. I haven't figured out what else it doesn't. I've actually tried saying really, really um, obscene and bigoted things at the screen to see what it picks up, but it hasn't picked up that much there. Uh, mental health, so again, um, the word retarded, it sometimes picks up as something I shouldn't use as well. And ethnic slurs, I'm not sure how this is different from what it doesn't like with race, but yeah, it's there. And this is about reading the slides. It also has recommendations of what to do here. So for example, pause if you need, if you want to slow down, if you feel nervous, take a deep breath. And this, this site is supposed to say things that do and don't work with PowerPoint online. Uh, it's not a complete list, actually. So it doesn't tell me that the Zoom feature doesn't work and it doesn't tell me the GIFs doesn't work that I had to kind of find out on my own. So hopefully that will get better over time as well. Uh, oh, last thing I didn't say. So it does actually sometimes tell you replacement. So instead of gays, it says gay people, gay person, workforce. You guys say you instead. It tells me to say expert instead of master. I'm not sure why. Again, that's offensive, but yeah, that's it. So if you like this video, then I've got tons more on PowerPoint, Excel, Power BI on my channel. Please feel free to like this video, share it if you want to show it with your friends and do try out this feature. I've actually used it with over 10 people for over 20 talks in the last month. So I've used it pretty extensively, which is why I feel comfortable giving this review. All right, cool. Thanks for watching.